Merry Christmas! But today we are going to be exploring the darker side of Christmas. <laughs> Our fascination with ghostly tales around Christmas time goes back thousands of years, and is rooted in ancient celebrations of the winter solstice. In the depths of winter, pagan traditions included a belief in a ghostly procession across the sky, known as the Wild Hunt. Recounting tales of heroism and monstrous and supernatural beings became a midwinter tradition. Dark tales were deployed to entertain on dark nights. Ghosts have been associated with winter cold since those ancient times. According to art historian Susan Owens, author of *The Ghost: A Cultural History*, the Ode of Beowulf is one of the oldest surviving ghost stories, probably composed in the 8th century. This is the tale of a Scandinavian prince who fights the monster Grendel. Evil and terrifying, Grendel has many ghostly qualities, and is described as a grimma geist or spirit, and a death shadow or shifting fog gliding across the land. In 1611, Shakespeare wrote *The Winter's Tale*, which includes the line, "A sad tale's best for winter. I have one of sprites and goblins." Two centuries later, the teenage Mary Shelley set her influential horror story *Frankenstein*. In a snowy wasteland, although she wrote it during a wet summer in Switzerland, the Victorians invented many familiar British Christmas traditions, including Christmas trees, cards, crackers, and roast turkey. They also customized the winter ghost story, relating it specifically to the festive season. The idea of something dreadful lurking beyond the light and laughter inspired some chilling tales. We have a special guest with us today, and his name is Krampus. So, tell us about yourself, Krampus. In Central European popular legend, I'm a half goat, half demon monster that punishes misbehaving children at Christmas. I'm the devilish companion of Saint Nicholas, and I'm believed to have originated in Germany. My name derives from the German word Krampen, which means claw. And how do you punish children? According to traditional narratives of Alpine folklore, I would enter the towns, lashing my chains and bells to capture the bad children in a basket and bring them down into the underworld. The Krampus Nacht or Krampus Night. Would occur the evening before December the sixth. What happens on Krampus night? Typically, children leave their shoes out on their home's front porch on this night, because on Saint Nicholas Day they would wake up to find sweets and other treats in their shoes if they were good. Do you have any elves? Krampus's elves, also known as Krampus's helpers. 
are the secondary antagonists of the 2015 supernatural horror comedy film Krampus. These dark elves are an evil version of Santa Claus's elves. They are Krampus's minions who help him take families who have been bad on Christmas. Thank you for your time, Krampus, and Merry Christmas! We hope that wasn't too scary for the younger viewers, but fear not, we do have some more lighthearted content coming along the way in the near future. Uh, again, I want to remind you that if you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button because we really do appreciate it. So thank you so much and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.